laps. The EH J goes with RTJ. Here we go, 26 cars, 25 laps, $5,000 on the line. They fire in the racing for heroes. Starting zone prelim feature number one is underway. Let's see if Dean Stone got that power steering issue fixed. Here comes Cody Overton to the bottom on a turn number two. O'Neill has the lead over to down the back straight away. Here comes Dan Stone in two. We've had 17 different winners this year in the Lucas Oil Lake Model Dirt Series. Hudson only has four of them. And he has the lead right now on lap number one. Yeah, that leads Cody Overton second, Dan Stone third. Rick Eckert right now runs fourth as Tim McCready tries to get rolling up on the outside. This spot right now is McCready over Dalton Wilson. Mason Ziegler currently sits in seventh. There comes Dalton Wilson down to the inside of McCready. James to battle for fifth. As your race leader, Hudson O'Neill, is going to sidestep the 10 of Dave Stan. He puts that car one lap down, and that car is now a buffer between himself and your second place driver, Cody Overton. Overton going to work his way by Stan going into turns three and four. Try not to lose much ground to Hudson O'Neill. O'Neill had seven tenths of a second on Cody Overton. That that last time by, this time by, nine laps going up on the Bobby Ray Hall scoreboard. Eight tenths of a second, the advantage for the New Deal. O'Neill works the bottom on the truth, and he does. And Greg Satterley goes a lap down here in this first feature. And James Trouble for Dan Stone, who is running very strong at the front of the field as he has made the hard left hand turn into the infield as well. His race is finished, as is the case for the 11 of Spencer Hughes. He's called it a night as you've got a new fourth place car. The 20 RT of Ricky Thornton Jr. works by Tim McCreeny. James this time by seven to go. See if he's got enough time to catch Rick Ecker. Don't know that he's got enough time to catch Hudson O'Neill, James, because as O'Neill crosses the stripe, popsicle sticks in the air. Two laps to go for the driver out of Martinsville, Indiana. Well, Thornton needed a caution last night, and he got it. He came from sixth on a restart to get the win, but right now Hudson O'Neill, oh, that was close. Down the base right away, maybe contact. As you see on the bottom there, is that Dylan Stake in the 19, D19 cars. He goes down the back straight away. Into turn number three, final lap, Dustin, in this first 25 lap. That is Dylan Stake. It is Dylan Stake, and that is Hudson O'Neill. As he comes off corner number four, checker flags out. He's going to win the Group A feature. Hudson O'Neill gets it done in the first prelim tonight at Port Royal. Second, we'll go to Rick Eckert. We'll lead him into the Racing for Heroes starting zone. And the final feature of the night here at Port Royal is going green. Two drivers who've dominated Eldor over the last few years into turn number one, Overton and Davenport. And the Racing for Heroes start zone. And Davenport pushes up the track. Here comes Marler through the middle. Mike Marler second last night in the, excuse me, third last night behind Overton. Annual winner, Ricky Thornton Jr. Goes side by side for a second up at turn four. One lap in the books. Mike Marler with a run down to the inside of Jonathan Davenport. Superman, though, will hold that second spot just behind your race leader, Brandon Overton. And Ben may be right. Mike Marler looks like he's got a fast hot rod. And that Ronnie Dell owned Longhorn here this evening as that lead trio is stretched out by a few car lengths over the battle for Ford between Mike Norris and Tyler Erb at the end of lap two. It's still Overton, Davenport, Marler running one, two, three. As they'll come out in turn four, Brandon Overton, five laps to go for his first win since the end of January at Golden Isles. Brandon Overton that time by with a one second advantage over Mike Marler. Marler trying to keep the 49 of Jonathan Davenport behind him. Davenport got that good run down the back straightaway. That was the battle for fourth momentarily on your screen as Michael Norris takes that spot back away from Chris Ferguson and James. Another fantastic battle for second with four to go. A good starting spot in one of those six heat races here tomorrow night. Watch turn number two. We see it at Florence and Eldor, the run for Davenport. He's on the gas. Marler switches lanes. Davenport to the bottom of the side by side of the turn three with four to go. Davenport going to clear him at least momentarily as he drives way up the racetrack. And yes, Jonathan Davenport back up in the second. Right there out of turn four, a lap, a car in the tail end of the field. He's going to get right in front of Overton. And now Davenport's going to go to the top shelf. Here we go, right here. White flag next time. Here comes Jonathan Davenport. Davenport's got to run down the back straight away. He'll try to close in on Brandon Overton. Overton maybe a little bit of damage on the right rear of that race car. Davenport keeps the 49 glued to the high side. James, they come down to the white flag. Oh, man, in the turn one. That might have been it right there. As he's pulling away, Marler goes to the bottom. They're side by side in turn two for a second. 
Here comes Davenport. One last chance, Dustin Jarrett. Got to run down the back straight away. As they hit through turns three and four for the final time. Davenport will go up top. He's going to try to get a run down to the bottom. Here they come. A drag race to the line. It'll be Overton getting the win. Davenport second. Marler third.